Alright, I'm going to uh, show some different stuff aside from the Rubik's Cube videos. Um, I'm going to show a few videos on how to do some card tricks, which I've picked up a few good ones in my day. Um, so what I'm going to show you, it's a really simple one I know about, I know maybe a dozen or so, and I'm going to make videos on how to show you most of them. So this is... It's really basic, you know, pick a card and I'll show you the card. Now this one, you get to fool people with and they'll think you're gonna, you're totally gonna screw up. So you know, it starts off, you know, ordinary deck of cards, you know, you get them to look over it, you know, the standard stuff. You shuffle it, you know, standard stuff. Um, you let them shuffle it, you know, let some other people shuffle it. So, um, Let that shuffle enough. And, you know, you do the standard, pick a card. I'm going to pick a card, but I'm not going to look at it. I'm going to show it to y'all. And we pick that card. I genuinely, I genuinely do not know what that card is. You can see there's no way I could have just looked at it just then. So then you set the deck down on wherever the people are and say, okay, cut the deck. Cut it. And the trick to this is that after they draw the card, find some way to distract them and see what the bottom card is on the deck. So now I see the bottom card is the Four of Hearts. So somehow just do a quick little glance, see if you can, see what the bottom is. So bottom is Four of Hearts, remember that. So then you get them to cut the deck, boom. Tell them, put it here, card goes here. And the one that had the bottom card, the four of hearts, goes on top of it. And you straighten it out and ask them to cut it again. Because they're probably not going to cut it in the exact same place. Or at least we hope not. So we cut it again. And you say, okay, now I'm going to start going through the cards. And if you see your card, don't stop me. Because I'm still kind of rusty at this. You have to say I'm still kind of rusty at this. Because that's when they think, okay, well, you know, just learned it. And so you just start going through the cards and say, now I'll let you know when I'm going to pull your card out. Start going through them. Now the trick to this is to look out for the Four of Hearts. And you know that once you see the Four of Hearts, it's going to be the next card because of the way you cut the deck when you're going through it, and they're thinking, at this point, maybe you don't know what you're doing. So you keep going, and here I've found the Four of Hearts, which means the card I showed you a minute ago was the Three of Hearts. Now, you don't stop there, because this way they'll really be more um, interested. So you keep going go, you know, a couple cards more, and you say, and you say, okay, I'm confident that the next card I'm going to show you will be your card. Now, if you want to make a bet with this person at this point, this would be a good time to do it, because they know that they've already seen their card, and they assume that when you say, the next card I'm going to show you, they assume this is the one you pull off the top. It's not going to be the case. You make a bet, and if not, you know, you can just impress them. And you pull out their card off this deck, say, there's your card, three of hearts, and you either win the bet or just impress them. I'm trying to remember where I learned that trick from. I've known it for like three years. One of my, I, think, I think one of my friends taught it to me. So um, that's card trick number one.